Pretty spooky, right? Well, not as spooky as using cardboard for me. You see, I suck at using cardboard. It's a material I've never been able to really understand, if that makes sense. Like, I get the basis idea of it, but I've never been able to make it look good. But I think that's all gonna change today. I started out by making a body for this piece, and this is a colony hive mine, and the idea is that the scorpion tank has been sitting in here as they collect biomass kind of around the area, and they're going to make like a base, so I'm kind of having a Halo Wars kind of vibe to it and feel, and I really like that, but I'm also making it kind of for my Halo Infinite army, so it is a Halo Infinite technically, which I think they should bring back some kind of colony flood hive mines if there is flood in Halo Infinite, and uh, there definitely should be. So I started with the roof here with a piece of cardboard and I'm using a lot of tape and hot glue to stick this thing together. Once that was done, I started to fill in the open areas with more strips of cardboard, really just making sure this thing was nice and firm. All this stuff I was going to add on to it later, I didn't want this thing breaking because it was too flimsy. Once that was done, I started applying a ton of duct tape to it, and I mean a ton. I really started to just make sure every area of this cardboard was completely covered in duct tape. This was really old and kind of junky duct tape that I've had for a long time, so it didn't really have much of a good purpose besides this really, and honestly it worked out really well for making this come together. Then I got rid of the support straps that I added earlier, which is just some pieces of cardboard and tape, and now it is holding the scorpion tank. I moved on to some styrofoam because I needed to make the little light slash pores kind of looking things on each side. I started carving away on these pieces of styrofoam and basically just shaping them to a certain point and I was going to hit them with sandpaper later on so then it really smoothed it out. Once I was done carving it, I attached it to the side. I also added some duct tape around it so it would be more flush to the actual other part of the colony hive mind. I made quite a few of these. Once that was done, I also wanted to make other pieces that were going to come all the way around on this colony hive mine. I just took some more foam and I carved them out into discs and then I started attaching them up. Now I made probably about eight to ten of these I think, maybe a little bit more. This added a lot of detail for not a lot of work. And then I also used some duct tape and made that flush just like I did with the other parts. Once that was done, I took some sandpaper and very lightly just brushed over it. I just wanted to get rid of those harsh edges and make it more smooth so when I painted it just looked a little bit more organic. Once 
Once that was done, I was gonna cut out some white dollar store foam core strips, and that was going to be kind of veins that were coming into the actual hive mine. So I wanted to attach veins to it as well. And then I covered it up with tape, just like I have before. And I made quite a few of these all along the actual body of this. Once that was done, I needed to make bits of flesh that were going to be on top of the colony hive mine, so I took some hot glue in a metal sheet pan, flipped it over, and started to apply hot glue and then rip it up with a piece of styrofoam. Now this is a great way and a cheap way of getting a lot of really good texture in a really easy way, and it does look a lot like biomass or flesh for uh, small scale diorama stuff, and I really like using this technique and trick. then you can just rip it right up. Then I just started gluing it onto the actual colony hive mine. And I did this in kind of the open areas where there weren't either the veins or the other pieces of styrofoam. Once that was done, I applied a ton of kind of paint that I didn't really ever use and just really tossed it around on this thing. And this is the same kind of color that I was kind of going for anyway, so it worked out really well. I added about one coat of this, and then I added one coat of a different color later on. Now normally I would just go outside and spray paint this, but it's so cold outside in Minnesota right now that I can't go outside and have this not dry inside, like it'll just stink up the house and that's just not an option, so sadly I have to hand paint everything that I kind of make, which can take a long time. Done, I needed some Liquitex gel to make more of this floody texture and this is something I've used so much lately and it is amazing. I find this at Michael's and then I'm just using some craft paint to mix it up and uh, give it that nice floody color. And then I started applying it everywhere on the actual body itself. Uh, kind of in the gap areas that there were duct tape still sticking through, duct tape that didn't get painted. Really kind of just went around and took my time in finding all the spots that needed this for later on when it actually gets ripped up and it looks really good for flood texture. And then you just take a paper towel and you can just kind of pick at it and it has an amazing texture in the end. So I did that all the way around this hive colony. And a little bit on the inside of the lips so when you look into it it's not just cardboard. And then I also painted each one of these styrofoam pieces yellow.
And then I just applied some black wash on top of everything to really darken it up because it was just way too bright. And this changed the entire look of this flood colony into something way nicer in the end. And because of this black wash is the reason it looked the way it looked in the end. And this is just craft paint, black craft paint, and some water mixed in. Nothing fancy at all. Once that was done, I did a red dry brushing on all the flesh areas just to make it a look a little bit different from the actual biomass that we added on later with the Liquitex gel. And I added that all the way on every flesh area. And then I started a white dry brush, kind of like an off-white vanilla. And uh, this looked really crazy in the end. I really like how this turned out and it gives it this just weird shiny effect. And also like the layers start to stack up with the dry brush, the red, the, the wash, the original color. It just makes it look like it has a lot more detail and it gives it a little bit of a moldy look, which I really like for the flood. Once that was done guys, that was all I did on this piece and it turned out amazing. I hope you enjoyed. Alright guys, so here is the Flood Colony Hive Mine. Now this was an interesting project and one that I wanted to use a material that I'm not very good at and that's cardboard. Now I am not good at using cardboard at all, but I figured it would give me a really nice structure in base to the actual Flood Colony thing itself and uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. It definitely looks Flood-esque in like my Flood kind of material and style. I don't really know how I feel about this big lip in the front. I think that kind of makes it look kind of like an igloo, but at the same time I think it works pretty well. The idea behind that was just so I can fit in my scorpion tank. Here, let me get a better angle for you. Just so I can fit in my scorpion tank, so if I ever do any stop motion animations or, or just background like mocks and dioramas, now I have kind of like a base for something to attack, the Covenant or the UNSC or the Banished, and this scorpion tank can come out or this warthog can come out of it as well. And I think that's kind of cool and a little neat design idea that I came up with. You guys will have to let me know if you enjoyed this project and you want to see more like high charity stuff or maybe even different kind of things with more of the Flood Colony Halo Wars kind of feel. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this project yet. You will have to definitely let me know what you think of it, if you thought it was good, if you think it's just a little bit too much. I think it looks kind of cool actually, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers and all the likes and all the support that my channel's been getting lately. It's really is motivating me a lot in making these kind of projects. Anyway guys, have a great rest of your day, evening, or night, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.